All right, you are looking at my go-to hooks when drop shot rigging. Here in Western Washington, we got a lot of grass in our lakes. Um, very easy to get snagged up on. Why do I like this hook so much? And made by owner, it's a down shot offset hook, and that offset is the key. It allows you to Texas rig, so you can see right here we got that offset on the hooks. They're really light wire hooks, extremely strong, and very, very sharp. These are just great hooks, hands down, for a number of reasons, but the most important thing for me is the fact that it's an offset hook. It allows me to Texas rig my plastics, get into the grass where typically our bigger bass move midday. So early mornings I can catch them on the docks, you know, doing a number of different techniques. But midday when that sun comes up, our bigger bass tend to move into the thick grass that we have out in that 10, 15, 20 foot depth of the lake. And getting down there, even with some jigs, you know, swim jigs tend to get caught up in our thick grass here in Western Washington. So um, something a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner, able to make it through that grass. And I have found that this is the way to go. So they're made by owner. I like them in the one aught and the size one. I like the one aught for my worms. And then the one I use for these very small paddle tails that I have that I like to throw. Um, I'll show you a setup here in just a second so you can see what that looks like. And let's take a peek at that now. There it is, folks. That is the ticket right there. That is going to get you into some bass. That is a robo worm in orange crusher color. Here's the hook right here. I got my ring eye up here where I tie a polymer knot. I leave a lot of tag line and I'll run my tag line anywhere from 10 to 12 inches. Sometimes I go a little bit shorter depending on what I'm doing, but I like the cylinder weights. They seem to get caught up a lot less than a teardrop weight or a uh, round weight when drop shotting. So I would highly recommend using these cylinder weights here. This is 10 pound fluorocarbon that I'm using as a leader line. I run it with 12 pound braid. The reason I'm running 10 pound fluorocarbon is because it tends to, well, one, it's stronger than eight pound. A lot of people will recommend you drop shot with eight pound fluorocarbon. But like I said, we got that thick grass that those guys are hiding out in. And because you have your drag fairly loose when drop shot rigging, those fish are gonna run once they catch, once, you, once you, they hook, okay? So you're gonna hook them, they're gonna run back down into that grass even deeper. And when you're yanking them up, a lot of times you're bringing grass up along with them. So. I, I have fished eight pound, I have fished 10 pound. I haven't noticed a difference in number caught with eight and 10. So because of that, I ran a little bit thicker with my 10 pound fluorocarbon. And with it being fluorocarbon, it's pretty much invisible down there anyways. So um, just kind of play around with it, see what works for you. But that right there is my setup. It's caught me a lot of fish. I hope this uh, gave you a few tips. Go out and use it. Remember, take it nice and slow. This action is all gonna be happening back here on that tail. That thing's gonna be moving around like crazy. Take it slow, don't work it too fast. Run it through that grass line and get yourself some bites. Good luck out there. Thank you for watching. Click subscribe.